What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to get your pod A from level 1 all the way up to level 4. Pod A is your starting pod and it's kind of a good all rounder. I remember trying to take the shoot button down so I'd always be firing like a bullet hell cannon of death. I mean, are you ever going to sit there and think, no, no I don't want to deal extra damage to my enemy. Of course you're not, so why not upgrade that sucker? It's going to cost you either a fair bit of time and or money, so bear with me. There are going to be spoilers since I'll be jumping chapters so you have been warned. You're going to need 10 tree seed, 10 mushroom, 10 pure water, 10 natural rubber, 1 power up part S. Now for two of these, it's as simple as buying them in the shop if you don't have enough already. Simply transport yourself over to the park ruins and talk to the robo clown salesman found there. Now you could actually also go ahead and grab the parts you need for upgrading to level 3 and 4 while you're here, but you might get some of them while farming for our other items, so if you don't have millions to spend, it might be best to hold off on that for now and just come back later. For the next bit, make life easier for yourself by equipping item scan and auto item collect if you have them. Mushrooms can be found at any gather point in the forest. Just run around until you have enough. If you run out of gather points, just save and reload and everything will be back again. Same situation for pure water, which can be found in the sunken city. I find you only get one pure water per reload, so get ready to do this a lot. Now I apologize for this next part because you can only get power up part S for quests which I have unfortunately already finished. But you can get one from Animomi's Past, a quest you can pick up in the resistance camp, one from Father Servo, who you can normally fight here, on this building by the desert camp and one drops from the golden enemies which I don't even have a picture for. Once you've done all of that, just head to the maintenance shop owner and upgrade your stuff. Upgrading it again is rather simple. For level 3 you need plant seed, eagle eggs, tanning agent, filler metal. Which means another trip to the RoboClown shop and another foray in the forest. I'll go ahead and show you the items for level 4 while we're at it and you guessed it, same old same old. So other than the eagle eggs and giant eggs, which can be found in the forest resource bots, everything else you can buy from the clown. Which means the only points of complication are power up parts M and L. For M, I've been told you can get one from a chest in the sunken city, or from hacking in the copied city. But I'm going to go for the one I know you can go back for over and over again. Major spoils for this one, as it pertains to your third playthrough. But once you have chapter select, you'll want to choose 1502, Nines and the Soul Box. This requires you to hack your way up the tower, and on the 4th floor, there's a box that will always drop power up part M, no matter how many times you do it, and just requires you to do a simple hacking minigame. Funnily enough, power up part L is a lot easier. Simply head back to the amusement park, this time to the main square, and clear out all the robots. Once you've done that, just keep swinging at the rabbit statue in the middle. It's important to keep your attacks constant, and he will eventually activate and attack you. When you defeat him, there's a chance that he'll drop power up part L. Also remember to use 9S's hacking skill here as it will make quick work of this enemy if you're struggling with it. And that's it. Hope it helps and stay tuned for more weekly gaming videos. 